But you can see at the right side of the image, the brightest spot, which is just near the edge, is one of the biggest volcanoes on the moon. And that volcano, it took so long to identify it as a volcano. This is, is a, you can see this is something like a Iceland. It is a mantle plume, which has accumulated over many, many, you know, thousands of years, lots of lava. Uh, what you see here is Herodotus crater. Then that curly line is called Copra's head. is actually a lava tube. And the Brat, Brat crater was, I think, Eratosthenes. Oh, Aristarchus. Yeah, Aristarchus, I think. Yeah, that was it. It took so many years to identify it. I look with a geologist's eye to this lunar landscape, and everywhere I see that craters are superficial features, and I see everywhere the effects of volcanism. Like what you see now also beside, this is part of the Alpine mountain, it's Iridium Bay, the crater is there. And I can see some volcanic dump exactly on two parallel um, fault lines. It's a graben. I'll refer to the map and just show it to you later, but at the moment I just... This 8 inch telescope, I can show you some of these features that I'm talking about. I think among thousands of people who observe the moon every year, every night, not a single one of them is a geologist. They don't know what they're looking at. I like to compare that uh, um, volcanic structure that I showed you, and I'm zooming on it now. So compare it to Olympus, Mons Olympus, on the Mars. A complete volcanic dome, volcanic uh, uh, shield. Call it Schroeter's Valley. Probably should call it Schroeter's Volcano, Shield Volcano. Okay, now I have modified my um, Meet ETX uh, uh, 125 to accept 